How's it going, you guys? I just turned around and my cat was like just sitting next to me like a little human. <laughs> he tripped me out. Um, yeah, so yesterday's giveaway, uh, I'm going to announce that at the end. At the end of this stream, I'm going to announce that. And also, at the end of this stream, I will announce the next prize. Now, I mentioned that, okay, you got to follow these directions because people get a little confused, but you got you to gotta share the video from yesterday. All right, yesterday's video, we drew this. Yesterday's video, that's uh, the 12th of April. <laughs> I'm losing track of time here. All right, so April, April uh, 12th, April 12th, this is the design, there's my signature, this is the giveaway for April 12th, this will be announced at the end of the day, this is the drawing from April 12th, this is the drawing for today, April 13th, so you guys want this, you still have a chance to go on my timeline, make sure you're following me. Make sure you add a comment. Make sure you say done and make sure you share that video yesterday. You still have a chance. The winner will be announced. Now, for today's design, we are going to do this. We're going to do this drawing right here. And I think it you could you could either have it like this when you hang it up like to where it's jumping in the water or you can have it like this to where it's jumping out of the water it's kind of you can go either way when i sign it i'll sign it right here so that way you know you, it, it doesn't go a certain way you can just oh, excuse me <laughs> yeah you can just go for it so um yeah pretty much i'm gonna do this drawing right here and um yeah we'll uh We'll announce the winner after the video, so make sure you stick around for that, and I will announce the next product for tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just get this started. I always like to start at the ovoid and uh, getting that getting that circle in, just getting it over with, I guess. And that's the thing about pen and ink. If you go too slow, uh, you're going to blotch your ink. So you got to kind of move. You got to keep moving. Well, the bigger the circle gets, the easier it is for me anyway. I could follow the curves a lot better than I can just do a continuous curve on a smaller one. I follow the longer curves on the smaller I can follow the longer curves on the larger circle than following continuously doing a short curve on a small circle or ovoid no treatment. This is paste wax, and now this is the dry one. I'll put some glue on there. We'll test all three. See which one. We'll see what. So to try to avoid erasing and all of that, I usually go over the entire mark right there. So. You see the standing on the metal, but the actual glue is not stuck. Hey, and I do apologize uh, about the noise. They woke me up this morning. I thought someone was knocking on my door. They're rebuilding my fence. I thought someone was knocking on my door. And I was like jumping up out of bed and running to the door and trying to um, answer it. Because my, my older brother, Michael... Mikey was supposed to show up today. And so I thought he was getting bit by the dogs. The dogs were going crazy. 
And I went out, I ran out there and I opened the door and I was like, yo, hello, hello. I'm yelling out the door. I don't see no one. I close the door and then it goes, do, 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 do. You know, like I hear a knock again and I run to the other door and I open it and I'm still like, you know, wiping the ucks out of my eyes. And I'm like, I'm right here. Yo, Mike, where you at? You know, and uh, he, uh, it wasn't him. It was, I was still half awake. And then I realized, I was like, wait a minute, man. I think, uh, I think I'm, uh, <laughs> I think the guys are here working on the roof and no one's knocking on the door. <laughs> and after like three minutes of running back and forth, trying to, trying to say, Hey, I'm right here. I realized, yeah, I had that little revelation that, um, it's the guys working on the roof and that it wasn't my brother knocking on the door running. I thought he was running back and forth, running from the dogs, like from the back door to the front door. I thought he was running from the dogs the whole time, you know, like trying to get away from them. So I was running back and forth in the house from the front door to the back door, like yelling, like, I'm right here. Where are you at? So I would close the door and then do, 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 do. I would hear the knocking again. And the whole time, it was just the roofers, but they timed it. I don't know. I feel like they were pranking me, but uh, they timed it perfectly to where right when I closed the door, then I heard the knocking. You know what I mean? So I was I was running back and forth trying to answer the door, half awake, and it was, it was just the roofers, man. It was funny. I was like, I sat down, you know, with a bushy head in my living room. And I was like, oh, man, like, I'm tripping, dude. I just sat there blinking around, you know, like, feeling kind of dumb and whatnot. It was funny, though. I don't know. I guess you just had to be there. But, yeah. So we're, we, got, we got our drummers up there on the roof today. And uh, they're going to be drumming for us all day. And so... You guys don't mind those drummers, then we're golden. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. That's its own shape. This is its own shape. Uh, man, I messed this up. All right. We made a happy little mistake. We'll just keep going. When you make a mistake, you just keep going. All right. That's all you can do. I actually dread doing circles lately. I used to not really care. It used to not really bother me. But yeah, these wider curves I can do. These little curves, like it just irks me, man. But it's got to be done. It's got to be done. As time goes, it, it will slowly, um, yeah, it will slowly start to make sense, you know. So, I mean, yeah. All right. Yeah, if you guys get a chance, you guys are in the giveaway today, right now. Yesterday, yesterday's video, share that one. I'll announce the winner. Only like five people commented, and I'm giving two prizes away. The second prize is a, is a surprise, obviously. The first prize I'm giving away is this one. That's yesterday's video. So this is today's video, the live I'm doing. Yesterday, I did, I did this guy right here. I drew the, uh, I drew the jackrabbit. I gotta learn what the, what is called in my in my dad's language, but <clears throat> so go to that video, share it. At the end of this video, I'll announce the winner. I'm gonna announce the winner for this design. 
when I was doing this live drawing yesterday. Go share that video and comment done, and you'll automatically be entered. But I'm going to check if you shared it. If you win and you didn't share it, then I'm moving on to the next person. So you have to share the video, yesterday's video, to win this design. So go do that. I got Since I got five viewers, go do that. Make sure you say done. You could also share this video that I'm on right now. And uh, today's video, today's live, share this one and you qualify for tomorrow's giveaway. I'm sorry, Monday's giveaway. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to be in church. So, like, I mean, I can't do nothing about that. Um, so, I, I stream from Monday uh, to Saturday at noon every day. And I want to stream twice a day because I got some really nice drums. And um, I want to paint those live. So, I've been holding off on painting those. I got galleries waiting for me to to bring them, you know, and, and display them. But I'm like, I got to get my live set up to where, because this is a small paper, right? My drums are, are big. They're huge. Here, hold on. Let me grab one real quick. Oh, sorry. My cat's next to me. All right, so this is my drum. And if you can see, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit in this little area for the camera. So I got to set up, I got to reset up for my drum and uh, I'm going to make it to where I can do my drums and I can do my, but yeah, check this drawing out. See, there's his headdress right there and um, it's dope. If you guys are interested in this drum, let me know or any drum. I got deer and buffalo. <clears throat> so make sure you comment done on this video after you share this video. Once you do that, you'll be uh, qualified to win today's uh, today's prize. So I was giving people like a few hours to uh, share this video, but I thought, man, that's kind of messed up because I'm kind of like I'm not giving enough time, you know, because I was doing the I was doing the live at noon, and then I was. Um, I was doing the live at noon, and then I was announcing the winner at four. So people only had like four hours to uh, to share it, you know. And I'm like, no, nah, let's do a 24-hour thing. I'll announce the winner at the end of the video, and then um, at the end of the video, I'll, I'll also announce the next prize for the daily giveaway. Daily giveaway, people. We're being righteous Indians and we're doing giveaways every day. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys want to get in on this giveaway, it's free to share. It's free to comment. It's free to like it. It's free to follow. It costs you nothing. It's going to cost me something, and, but I don't mind. We're doing this in a good way. We're trying to build our channel. You know, and we're just going for it, man. And you know what? It's going to hurt a little bit at first, but I'm just going to be consistent. I'm going to keep working on it, and uh, I'm going to keep doing this every day. I missed one day because my daughter. My daughter had a game, a track meet, and um, she really loves running, you know. I love running, too, and we really we talk about it. We talk about, like, how we can get how because I like to I like to stay in shape, you know, so we talk about like how we can get it faster, you know, how we can get stronger, what works and what doesn't work, you know, so me and my daughter, we're like we we're tight, we're, we're connected. So I wasn't going to miss her first track meet and she wasn't training because she had the flu and she was in bed for like three weeks. I was in bed for four weeks before that. And you just feel dirt tired after being in bed that long, you know, and she was super sick too. And so she didn't do that good in her, in her track meet. And I told her, I was like, don't even sweat it. I was like, don't even trip. I was like, we're going to, we're going to work on this. I said, just get your times down. Remember your times. Once you get your times down and you know what your time was, 
I was like, we'll work on that. I said, watch how much you improve. So we're going to go hike hills. If you guys stay tuned, we'll, I'll have some, some footage of some just beautiful places out here in, in Oregon. And um, we like to go to Multnomah Falls and Smith Rock. Like we just, I like to, if I'm going to go off and go have fun and do fun, like I'm going to make sure it's productive. You know what I mean? So, like, I always make sure, uh, what do you call it, um, I'm doing more than just going and having fun and seeing something cool. I'm going there, and I'm getting in shape. I'll bring my, I'll bring my running shoes, you know, I'll bring my, and I'll make it into, like, a running thing, and my daughters, at first, they are like, ah, oh, man, you know, like, can we just walk? You know, and I'm like, nah, but by the, you know, a few weeks in, they're like in shape and they're like, we're like running up mountains, you know, and they love it. And they're like, they're like basically without saying it, obviously, because yeah, without saying it, they, uh, they thank me, you know, you can see it on their faces. They're happy that they're in shape. They get to, you know, run up all these mountains and hills out here. And it's beautiful out here. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. You know, I'm not going to lie. I miss the city. I miss, my, I miss my family, my people on my mom's side, the Puyallup Nation. And um, my I have a church out there I was going to. I miss my sweat lodge, my sweat family. Shout out to Uncle Ray McLeod. Um, I got my nephew down here, Jordan McLeod. My, the McLeods are my good relatives. I love them to death. Clint, Ray, Connie, uh, the little brother here. Um, man, he's an awesome kid, man. He's in his early 20s. He's got a fiance. I think they have a baby or they're going to have a baby. Um, anyway, I'm going to be working with those. We're both coastal Indian, you know, and we're both Warm Springs. So we're going to bring the coastal vibes down here to Warm Springs. Uh, we're going to represent our people in a good way, you know, and, and he wants to, he wants to learn. He wants to learn. And he's, we talked until like two o'clock in the morning, just, you know, talking about um, making paddles, feathers, and, you know, sharing our culture and at the same time supporting our families, you know, like, so we're excited and uh, I'm excited to, you know, have a piece of my family down here in warm springs my coastal family you know and because this is the desert and it's beautiful and everything but i mean it's the desert <laughs> all of my friends and family i brought here from tacoma never want to leave like that but that's how it is that's how beautiful it is out here and um i can have horses here um i can build stuff outside I don't need all kinds of permits and permissions. I can, I can have cows and, and horses and goats. I mean, I can have all this stuff. And I mean, stateside, they're shutting down. They're shutting all that stuff down. Pretty soon, people on the state side ain't going to be able to have none of that. You know, and it's written in our treaty to be, to be um, ranchers and farmers. So I'm like... <laughs> They call that the law of the land. It stands above the Constitution, our treaty rights. Yeah, so they put us on land that we're not supposed to, that no one wanted to farm and ranch. But ironically, we might be the last place in this country to legally farm and ranch, you know, without having some kind of special license that only sells to big box stores like Safeway, you know. And they have all kinds of stipulations on what you can grow you could only grow their seeds they have patented patented seeds if you decide to break away they start sending people that you know to to destroy your crops because they patented the seeds i mean it's it's crazy it's all gmos and i don't know i want a homestead you know and that's part of this goal here besides growing my channel and sharing my art i want a homestead and so that's one of the reasons why I'm down here in Central Oregon. There's just so much space. My tribe on my father's side, 
they have a thousand square miles down here open land you know and i'm not gonna lie like some of this leadership is stingy like they don't want to see you succeed but that's everywhere everywhere you go you're gonna have people trying to stop you and trying to keep you from accomplishing your goals you know and even when they're harmless goals like just trying to support your family that offends people you know that i you should see the look on so we have a, a thing here called the land use committee i'm talking about supporting my family you know taking care of my people breaking generational curses i'm talking about like generational prosperity growing food and growing a business teaching people how to you know make take care of themselves and not have their hand out all the time i'm talking about all this stuff and you should see the look on their face man they look at me like they're disgusted not all of them but there's one guy at you know that at the land use committee like he gets mad and i'm like bro what are you getting mad for i didn't say anything bad i didn't say anything wrong i want to do I want to do something good for my people, man. Like, that's a big reason why I came down here was to help my people, you know. And God knows I can't do it by myself, you know. So, like, anyway, I, I started off real civil with them um, at the land use committee for Warm Springs. And I was just really nice and always, I use my, I try to use my manners everywhere I go. I'm not a perfect person at all by no means but like be i just be respectful to everyone you know treat everyone good give give everyone respect you know and and everyone has value right so i was just i started off being super respectful but the guy cancels uh, finds a million reasons to cancel my uh business lease with the tribe for a little piece of abandoned parking lot you know that no one was using but the second i was using it everyone wanted me they wanted to use it they had ideas but guess what that parking lot is still empty but the first excuse the land use committee chair told me uh was you're talking bad about us on facebook so we're gonna we're gonna revoke your lease and i'm like bro did you see the video he's like no i said if you watch the video i said i asked for prayer and support from my community i said that's all i asked for i said i didn't say anything offensive i didn't even mention the land use committee and i said so you're going to cancel my lease about it and then he kind of blinked around like you know he realized if i if he gives me that reason it it would be unjust it was all unjust from the get what he was doing but you know he was trying to save face so then he started saying Oh, you need wheels on it. Um, oh, you're in the flood zone. And I'm like, bro, our whole tribe, our casino, our main source of income is in the flood zone. Our main source of the casino is in the flood zone. There's a building, you know, 50 feet away from this parking lot, fenced off to where people can't even get in. Or, you know, like, and they're in the flood zone. You know, it's like... I don't know, but uh, they they just kept making excuses. But the first excuse that why they were trying to get me out of there was because um, I said something on Facebook. And at this point, I'm just like, bro, man, like I don't even care anymore if what you say, what you do. Look, I got this live stream here. I could do my art anywhere I go. I prayed when I got custody of my children. And I, I prayed to have them for for months, days and days, not to have them, but just you know to see their faces. And I prayed to the Creator, God of this universe. Um, I, I prayed to Him and I said, if you give me my children, I'll go wherever you want me to go. You know, I said, and I let I told the Lord, I said I will succeed no matter where you put me. I said I'll in my prayer. And I was I was directed to stay in Tacoma, and I was mad because I was trying to leave Tacoma. But eventually, um, through prayer and wisdom, you know, using the word, and and just eventually, I came here to Warm Springs. I was like, I need to go home, you know. 
so I know I'll succeed here. Like I don't have to have an abandoned parking lot from my tribe to succeed. And um, but I'm still gonna I'm still gonna go out and sell my art on my reservation. I'm still gonna connect with my people. You know, I'm still gonna show people how they can, even if the tribe is going to try to block us and stop us from supporting ourselves and our families. Uh, I'm still going to teach people how to do it and I'm going to show them how to work around those things, you know? So that's what this is right here. I'm working on my art and um, I'm focusing on it and uh, I can do it online, you know? Um, so you guys who are watching this and sharing this stuff and getting prizes, you guys are my biggest supporters right now. And um, I don't have to depend on, I don't have my handout, you know, for the tribe. Like, I need something free. I'm out here working towards it myself and, you know, smashing these goals. One of them is to build my online presence with these live videos, you know. So. That's what I'm doing, and you guys, you guys are helping a lot. I look, I got three people here. If all three of you share this video right now and say done in the comments, one, you automatically enter into a free giveaway. F R E E free costs you nothing. I'll even pay for the shipping. You just got a comment done and share the video, and that's it. And literally, only five people shared this video, yesterday's video. So if you share yesterday's video. You will automatically be entered in for um, for free for two different giveaways. So yesterday's giveaway is open. When I'm done drawing this, I'll announce yesterday's giveaway. So you can go to yesterday's video on on uh, my channel. You can go to yesterday's video and you can share that. And you can share this, and you will enter two drawings for uh free stuff there's free art there's free oh i messed up crap it's all right so there's free art there's free um free drawings i'm gonna do clothes hoodies i'm gonna do free hoodies i'm gonna do a lot of cool stuff man today i haven't announced today's um what do you call um ah i messed up it's all right it's all right so um i'm gonna announce today's prize at the end of this video after i post um after i announced the winners for yesterday all right how can i fix this i could just go like this um uh let me see okay just keep going down and then cover that mistake blot it out all right okay so that looks a little wonky but let's just straighten it out right there boom there we go fixed no one will never know, but you guys don't tell no one. <laughs> uh, let me see. This is actually supposed to close right there, but don't tell no one. Okay, it's between us. All right. Yeah, no, I was getting a little passionate. Sorry, I gotta talk over these guys, man. They're banging on my roof. You guys watch the beginning of the video. I'll tell you. You can hear the story. I woke up thinking someone was knocking. And getting attacked by my dogs so i was running back and forth from the front door and the back door think, thinking they were running from my dogs and knocking on both doors because i got res dogs man they be protecting my house and uh yeah they're funny so i mean i was half awake trying to answer the door <laughs> 
for nobody. It was just the guys banging on the roof, man. <laughs> oh, man. That was a good one. You, see, you had to be there, man, to understand. <laughs> My daughter probably would have caught me running around trying to answer the door for no one. But they're at camp right now. Spring camp. I try to get my I try to get my kids involved, you know, and the people that they're with, I trust them. And I really don't trust anyone with my kids, none. But them guys I, I trust them, you know. So I feel like they're in good hands and um they went last winter. They went to winter camp. They went to winter camp with our church and they did really good. I saw the video. You know, and that's a part. That's a part of breaking these generational curses, man. A part of a big part of that, you know, is my children are going to be being brought up in a healthy environment. You know, with a, a healthy uh, congregation. You know, like they all stick together. They work together. Uh, they pray together. I mean, that's. That's what they need. And it was that middle school age. They're in middle school. It was that middle school age when I started falling off. When I started kicking it. When I started going around and, and hanging out. And I started getting into gangs. Drinking. Smoking. Smoking weed. Fighting. Fighting was a big thing when you grew up on the res. Like people started. It's it, you was, You're more established if you can fight. You're more respected. Like, so a lot of drinking, a lot of fighting, um, thinking I need a girlfriend, thinking I needed a lot of girlfriends. Like, that was the music and culture I was getting into. I was drifting away from my art. Because um, I, I started drawing in second grade, literally doing coastal art. And um, I remember, I remember the first time I drew a. Uh, Close to Lar, it was. I drew a freehand wolf. I remember. I could draw it again. We should do a live video where I, I do that design. And actually, my brother Charles Sportsman, he's staying out in Tulalip. He's uh he's from the Puyallup Nation. He wants me to do a wolf because my dad's my mom's brother, his dad, my mom's brother, Dana Sportsman. That was his favorite animal. We lost him when we were younger, and uh, man, everyone just loves and misses him. Man, he was, he was a marine. He was an awesome dude. So I might, I should do the original wolf that um that I first drew in second grade. I still remember it. I could, I have it in in my mind in my memory banks. Uh, it was actually uh, a coloring page. It was a coloring page of a wolf. And I wanted to draw it, right? So I didn't know about, yeah, I didn't even know about tracing yet. So I took the coloring page, I looked at it, and I redrew it on another piece of paper. And then when I did that, I guess I am, the teachers were impressed. Um, if you guys ever went to Chief Leshai, uh, there was a woman named uh, Miss Neighbors. And I think she's Filipino, and she's just tiny little, little Filipino lady, just sweet as pie. She, she helped me get into um, the gifted and talented program with Mr. Zantua, the late Mr. Zantua, and um, he's a master carver from Alaska, and he just showed me basic shapes, you know, and and I just took it and ran with it. Um, but he was my first teacher. And then another huge influence was my uncle Willie, Willie Folks. So him and my uncle Dana Sportsman, when I was just talking about, they were like best, best friends. Like, so my uncle Dana and my uncle Willie was always popping in my house when I was growing up. And, uh, they would just pop in and they would be they would hang out for a day or two and willie would leave all of his drawing supplies he would leave all his pens his sharpies you know and and i had nephew rights and i knew it you know and 
So I would just take them and start using them and start drawing with them. And, you know, and he would get back. He had drawings that he would leave partially done. And I would finish them. I would finish them. And um, so he would come back and just chuckle around. Hey, good job, nephew. Man, you're, you're, you're a good artist. You know, and so I knew he would, I knew he would let me get away with it. <laughs> I would just take all his supplies and just start using them when I was a kid, you know, and by the time I was like 13, 14, you know, people wanted to buy my art. I never sold my art until um, my daughter was born. She's 13 now, but when she was born and a baby, like we needed things, you know, like diapers and so I never wanted to even sell my art. I did not want to sell my art. And I was selling my drawings back then for $20 each, you know, because it would only it would take me, you know, 20, 30 minutes to do a decent drawing. And it was probably worth like 60 or 80 bucks. Now it's probably worth a lot more because this was like, you know, 12, 13 years ago. But um. So I was just selling them for like almost nothing, and I never sold them before. But I had to take care of my, I had to take care of my family, you know. I had to take care of my children. So that's how I started actually selling it, because to me, my art is like a part of me, you know. And I felt like I was selling a part of me, and I didn't want to sell myself. I didn't want to be a sellout, I guess, you know. And I, I was too proud. But when you have babies that are in need, you can't. You got to put your pride away. You got to put your pride down, and um, you got to uh, you got to adjust and adapt, and that you got to do what you got to do to take care of your children, right? So that's how I got into selling art, and um, I have traditional family and relatives, you know, that get. I think they get a little upset. They kind of look at me a little sideways you know for being an artist and and making a living off of my work and i can i can sense the vibes you know but i mean i don't get mad you know and and um it's all right you know like some people aren't gonna like that that i sell my art my tribal art my my hand drums i'm sharing my culture i'm educating people you know and i'm telling them you know this is our culture you know, be respectful to what I'm doing. I don't sell to, you know, magical shaman or anything. I, I let them know this isn't this isn't some piece of magic you can take and use our ways, you know, to create some kind of, you know, new age hippie healing vibration. Like that's it's not what this is, you know. Um, and I'll tell them this can be in your home as a decoration. And, and you know, if you want to sing, sing from your heart, you know, but don't go out there acting like you're some kind of medicine man and, you know, trying to heal people and pounding a drum in their face. Like, we don't do that. <laughs> I've never heard of that. Um, maybe other tribes do it. I don't know. But I can't speak for everyone. And I don't mean disrespect towards anyone either, you know, but our drums... Um, as far as I know, and my culture wasn't used to pound around in people's face and, and bless them with, you know, the, the drum sounds. For us, on my uh, father's side, on the Warm Springs River, or Columbia River, and the Warm Springs, Yakima, Nez Perce uh, nations, as well as like Spokane, Nespelum, and all them, like we were all seven drums. And seven drums, the drum represents like the heartbeat. And then every drummer is in sequence with the drummer next to them. And so then their heartbeat goes up as a prayer as one. Like in other cultures, they say things like amen. And in my in my dad's mom's culture, we say, ah, oh, we raise our right hand. And we say, oh, that means that means the same thing. I'm in agreement. When someone sings, when someone speaks, when someone prays, we raise our right hand in acknowledgement and agreement. And people respect, you know, that, that longhouse. People respect it enough to not go out there. Not everyone, but for the most part, 
you know, 99.99% of the time, people say good things. So people, it's easy to agree with them when when people are saying good things. So we say, all right, I'm in agreement. You know, drumming uh, in sequence with each other, you're all drumming in agreement. Your prayers and your songs go up together as one, just like the beat of the drum is one. Um, and then my my dad's dad side, the Nakota Sioux, they uh they say a ho, and a ho is the same thing. I hear you. I agree with you that this is good. A ho, you know, and you'll see that. If you're native, and a lot of natives actually use that around the country <clears throat> from my plains. And that, that, that comes from my plains, people. That's a part of where I descend from. The name Speak Thunder comes from the plains. And that's my family name over there. I have all my cousins, the Speak Thunder and Barry family from uh, the Fort Belknap Reservation. And um, that's where my roots are on my father's father's side. And I sign everything as speak thunder. So, yeah, that uh, aho, I, and amen, they all mean pretty much the same thing. I, I'm in agreement. And uh, I always thought that was pretty cool. You know, the more I start learning and exploring other people, other traditions, other nations, and their ways. You know, we have, we all have similarities. For the most part, every tribe, for the most part, agrees that um, we were we were created from the earth. Some will say clay, some will say mud, um, and some will say just earth or dirt. You know, and but everyone for for the most part, agrees that we were made from the earth by the creator, by the hands of the creator. And so that's our kind of universal belief here and the way we universally do things. And um, yeah, so, and I, I don't want to disrespect anybody or their culture, you know, because I, I can't speak for every tribe. There's over 500 uh, federally recognized tribes in the United States, like almost 300 languages, you know, so I don't speak for every tribe, you know, when what I'm talking about, and I don't mean any disrespect to anyone else, and, um, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just kind of explaining, you know, my understanding the best that I can in, in a good way, and, um, you know, just what I had learned growing up from my elders, and what I had learned from traveling around the country and and I, I'm just sharing it the best I can you know I just uh, I don't mean anything against anyone's uh, way you know because you can have people in the same tribe in the same sweat lodge that believe completely different things you know and um, so uh, some people don't agree you know with what I'm saying and it's not to offend you it's just what I've been learning from, you know, observing and listening. Uh, so, yeah, um, and I respect everybody's way, you know, and, and the only time I would intervene is if, you know, kids were being hurt or, you know, <coughs> common sense things. Other than that, you know, everyone is going to do what they want to do, and that's their choice, and I respect that. Um, I just try to stick, I try to stick to the basic stuff. They're right above me, you guys. The guys, they woke me up this morning. The roofers. I thought someone's banging on my door, man. Hey, look at that. That's coming out nice. It's almost done already. I don't it I trip myself out. I don't even know how I do this. It's, it's crazy. Sometimes I look at my drawings and I'm like, how did I do that? You know, when, but as I said, the creator, he made us from the earth. He, he made us from the earth and, uh, and he didn't just bless us with 
with the breath of air, he blessed us with creativity, you know, and so we have that ability. We share that ability with him to be creative. He creates life, you know, and uh, we, we create art and music and it's just, and we look around, you know, on this earth and you can see his creation and, and it, it inspires us. His, the birds, the trees, the mountains, the sky, the clouds, the rain, the plants, the animals, like it inspires us, you know, to be better. Uh, it inspires us to build, you know, and to grow like the trees, you know, big and mighty trees. And um, it's just, it's a beautiful thing, you know, and I embrace it, you know, as an Indian man. As a father, as a provider and protector, I embrace it, the creation, you know, that he created for us uh, and for himself. Um, and it's said that it, it's a good thing. His creation is a good thing. And it's obvious to us because, you know, we love, we love nature. People are out there fighting, you know, for the trees and for all of these beautiful things that he made for us that are dying and uh, i love it you know my heart is with them who want good for the earth and our future generations and you know but i give all the glory to god to the creator you know and i'm gonna do what i can in my part you know to just honor it and to uh and treat the earth good, you know, um, because it's a gift. It's been gifted to us, you know, and unfortunately, um, the people who are in charge, they're not taking care of it. And it's to me, it's disrespectful to the creator himself, you know, to treat what he gave us, you know, um, to do it with what we want, basically. And I just feel like that that gift is is being abused you know and just like if you give someone money like if i go down to the store and someone's asking for money i'm gonna give it to them but i have no control over what they do with it right so they can honor me and not honor me but honor the uh you know my effort and they can get something good to eat you know, and take care of themselves because that's my intention, right? When I give, when we give to someone, uh, especially if they're poor, uh, like our intention is to give so that they can eat, you know, so that they have something, you know, that can help nourish their, their body, you know, and, but in all reality, they have their own free will. And if they want to go buy alcohol or drugs, they're going to do that, you know, and, and, um, so I feel like the earth, you know, has has something that's similar with the earth and how it's been given to us. We have our own free will to do with it what we want. And look what's happening. You know, there's global warming happening. There's the trees are being chopped down and it's just uh, at an alarming rate and everything's heating up, you know, and they're saying it's already past the point of no return. We had abused the earth so bad, it, it's just past that point of no return. So the creator, God, gifted us something, and this is how we treat it. You know, and, and I'm not speaking for everyone, but I'm just saying this that's what's happening. Um, even though the people who want good are not in charge, they uh, it's still happening, right? We're still going through it. There's nothing really changing or improving. Um some of the protesting methods are not working. <laughs> I mean, it's it's uh, it's crazy. At the end of the day, you know, I think the Creator God is He's going to win. I think He already won, and so my faith is in Him to take care of things where we messed it up, to fix our mistakes, to make it all right. And if He has the power to put breath in my life, breath in my lungs put my children in my life and to create this earth then he has the power to restore it undoubtedly undoubtedly he has the power to restore it 
you know, and I stand in that belief, you know, that he's going to make a new earth and a new heaven for all of us, you know, and so I, I stand on that, you know, and because if I just keep worrying and stressing about the earth and the way it's being treated and, you know, like we're all going to burn eventually, if I keep thinking about that, like it's just going to stress me out, man. I have no control over it. I have no control over other people's actions. So I don't, I don't sit there and try to control it, you know, and try to, I just put my faith in the creator. I let him do his work, the things that I, I don't have any control over. He takes care of, you know, and they say that he brings justice, you know, he, if he will come down and teach my people how to live off the land, what berries to pick, what roots to pick, how to survive, how to feed the kids, how to clothe ourselves. Cause that's our story a part of our creation story and a lot of tribes i can't speak for every tribe but a lot of tribes say you know this is this was a god-given gift the creator showed us how to live off the land if he's going to go out of his way to come down to this earth that he created to the people that he created and teach them how to survive then i know that he's not going to let it all go to waste He's not going to just stand back and let this earth burn. You know, I think he's going to, he's going to be fair and he's going to be right. I think he is fair and he is right. And I think there's a special time, you know, for, for things to change. And even though it's not happening when I want it to change, I think it's, it's going to happen. You know? We're talking about the creator of the universe, and I just, I just believe in his timing, you know. <laughs> All right, well, check that out, man. It came out dope. And you guys have been listening to me rant long enough. So today's winner. I'm sorry, yesterday's winner for this. Let's do the yesterday's winner for this. I'll, I'll. Uh, I'm gonna check. So if you get, if you've posted on there, then um, if you shared my ye yesterday's video, then I'm gonna check right now. So I'm, uh, give me a second here while I review. It's a live stoic jackrabbit drawing. Uh, we got. Uh, let me see how many people we got. We only have seven comments. Um, Norma Smith commented, so she's automatically entered. I checked her already. Uh, Roberta Gleason, I checked hers, Agnes Stay High, um, Chola Satayakum, that's my family, like a lot of my family uh, are on here supporting me, and I thank you guys for that, we got Andrea May, so we got one, two, three, four, we got five entries for yesterday, and if you guys want to um, share it, Right now, yesterday's live, it's it's called the Stoic Rabbit. Um, it's yesterday. It's on my it's on my page. Where you're watching right now, just look at yesterday's stuff. So, yeah, that's. I'm gonna give you guys a minute to do that, um, and I want to show you the drawing that I did yesterday. I want to show you the art that I did yesterday. So. Here's the art right here. This is going to be given away a second. I'm going to show you the art I did. So the art is right here. Let me get my live stream back up. All right, this is our live, our art from yesterday, April 12th. So let me, actually, I didn't even sign this. Hey, good tidings. So you guys want to answer the drawing for the today's, then I need to, you guys have to share the video and, uh, and you can be a part of this giveaway. So, um, I'm going to give you guys another minute. Uh, let me sign this one right here. So this is the one I did today. We just finished this drawing. Let's get this signed. So you could either put it, you could frame it like this. And it can go uh, like the landscape orientation. You can, it's so it looks like the salmon is jumping into the river or the water. Or you can stand it up like portrait mode. 
and it looks like he's jumping out of the water. Either way, it looks cool. So I'm just going to sign it in here. So you guys, whoever ends up with this design, will be able to, uh, yeah, will be able to put it however they want. So I'm going to take a peek one more time at our yesterday Stoic Rabbit. And um, let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, I think I need to refresh it. I need to refresh it. Boom. Okay, I'm going to go down to the live. Oh, <laughs> that's my live right now. All right, all right, all right. I didn't even share my live video. Okay. Uh, oh, thank you, Todd. I appreciate it. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So Stoke Rabbit. Let's open that up and see what we got. So I'm gonna open this. This is what I did yesterday. I just scrolled like super fast. With my eyes closed, you guys are just gonna have to trust me. And then whoever commented on yesterday's video and whoever shared it, boom. Chola, Sataikum, you are the winner for the end of the trail. That's yesterday's art, or yeah, yesterday's giveaway. So, Chola, make sure you write a comment. Um, I believe you shared the video. Let me double check. Chola, if you didn't share this video, um, then let me see. Okay, Chola Tycom, that's my one of my relatives from the Puyallup Nation. Yep, she shared it. Chola, you won. So uh, Chola won this. This is yours. Uh, so you need to inbox me your address. Don't leave your address in the comments. Uh, but um, go ahead and inbox me your address, Chola. Um, so she's our winner. Uh, tomorrow's winner. I have two winners today, you guys. I got two winners today. What am I talking about? Um, so if you guys want to win a design, okay, so this raffle right here, the winner for this design right here, will be announced Monday at noon. That's when we're going live again. We're going live again Monday at noon. All right? So you guys have to comment. You guys have to share this video and comment done. Make sure you're following. Make sure you're subscribed. Comment if you want to win this. This is the horse design. Let me write Chola's name on here real quick because I'll forget. Put a little piece of tape right here. I know it's ugly, but I'm, I just need to write a note real quick. Chola. Um, all right, you're the winner. Chola, you need to send your address. I'm mailing that out ASAP. This is a hand-signed print. I'm going to sign this. I didn't sign it yet, so I'm just going to sign it real quick. All right, so that's signed. Chola's got her art right there. So this is for our next giveaway. I'm calling it a daily giveaway, but I don't do things on Sunday. Um, no, if it's a daily giveaway, let's do a daily giveaway, man. I will announce this tomorrow around 6 p.m. And I'm going to try to do another live video at 6 p.m. Let's do live videos every day. Let's do giveaways every day. Let's stick to the plan. 6 p.m. Sunday. The winner will be announced for this design right here. So if you want this design, you need to comment on this video and you need to share it. Make sure you're following and subscribe. Obviously, it's free. So this is for tomorrow for tomorrow's giveaway. Comment done and share this video. And this will be most this will be a good chance of yours. All right. Yesterday's video, I got a surprise giveaway gift. Um, it's actually a sticker of this design. So yesterday's giveaway, 
Uh, uh, Chola is not going to be the only winner. Um, let me find her. Her. I think only women commented on yes and shared yesterday's video. So I'm going to do one more winner. Um, and you're getting you're getting uh stickers. I'll need your address. Just let me go back to my page here and see who all commented. Oops. I am not used to the desktop version, but so our second place giveaway. I'm going to do. Uh, let, me see, let me see. Where you at? Where you at? How do I get to my page? There it is. I just need to scroll down to my live here. Um, if anyone else commented, you automatically entered. You automatically entered. If you commented on yesterday's uh, video and shared it, then you're automatically in right now to win the second. Okay, uh, the second prize. Okay, same thing. I'm going to the comments. And we've got, okay, Chola and Andrea. Chola already won. You can't win twice, Chola. So whoever's close to you, when I'm done doing it, when I'm... Okay. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Uh, la, 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 la. Roberta Gleason won the second prize. So let me write these down real quick. Um, my kitty is laying next to me, sleeping, listening to this noise, getting banged around. So again, Chola won this one. Chola, uh, send me a message of your address, and I'll get that shipped out to you. If you want to help with shipping, you're more than welcome. Um, if you guys want to subscribe to my Patreon to help me out, I appreciate it so much. Um, this design right here is for tomorrow's giveaway. Make sure you say done after you share this video that you're watching now in order to enter to win this tomorrow, April 14th. So that's this design right here. Uh, I want to start. I want to do a giveaway for the drum, too. We're going to do bigger giveaways. Uh, stick around. Keep watching. Keep supporting. If you get on to uh, my Patreon, um, it's in the description. If you help me with that, I appreciate you so much. You have no idea. I'm a full-time artist. This is how I take care of my family. This is how we live. This is how we keep a roof over our heads. This is how we eat right here. And all the glory goes to the creator, of course, and the abilities he's gifted me with. I want to use this gift. I want to share this gift. So if you help me with my Patreon, it's on my description. So Roberta Gleason and Chola are our winners. Roberta, uh, uh, you won some stickers. I'm announcing two winners a day, you guys. Two winners a day. So make sure you tune in tomorrow, 6 p.m., and then the rest of the week will be noon. Uh, maybe 6.30 p.m. I'm not sure yet. I don't want to be too late, and uh, I don't want to be too early because tomorrow is a big day. Uh, going to church, going to the longhouse, uh, get some paintings done. Uh, I have a couple of digital logos I need to do. So I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be busy. Chola and Roberta Gleason, congratulations. I'll see you guys tomorrow, uh, Sunday, April 14th at 6, 6.30 p.m. I'll make the announcement on my Facebook page, uh, Speak Thunder Art. Make sure you check the website, speakthunderart.com. Come and slide through to my Patreon and show a native support. I love you guys. God bless you. May the creator watch over you and your family. Oh, all my relations. Amen. <laughs>